Hi everybody, I'm Aram Jabari. I'm here today to show you Minecraft PlayStation Vita Edition. It's exciting to think about Minecraft playable whenever and wherever you want with the great analog controls on Vita. We want to show you what you can expect when you pick your copy up and also give you a few tips for how to survive in the world of Minecraft. So here we are. This is Minecraft for PlayStation Vita. Before we get going, if you own Minecraft on PlayStation 3, you get Minecraft on Vita for free, thanks to CrossBuy. If you want to buy the PS4 version and you pick up Minecraft on Vita, or you already own it on PS3, it's just $4.99 to upgrade. That's pretty convenient. This is the most playable, portable version of the game, thanks in large part to these beautiful, compact analog controls that PlayStation Vita is known for. And you, you've probably been living under redstone ore, if you don't know what Minecraft is. This is, this is my world. I mean, you appear in a world and it, it exists for you. It generates out procedurally from the center, uh, all sorts of different environments. And, and right now, I, I have to be cognizant of the ever-setting sun. Because Minecraft is, a, is a many different games in one. Uh, in, in, in many respects, though, it's a game of survival. And I need to make sure I have shelter before the sun goes down. So I have a tool bench here. I'm gonna drop my crafting table. And with the crafting table, you're able to make uh, tools that you'll need to su survive. But as you can see here with the crafting interface, and uh, again, this, the PlayStation Vita version is based on the PlayStation 3 version of Minecraft. So uh, it's extremely functional and intuitive controls. Everything's been thought out. So we have our inventory here. I could actually pull out my map. And with the map, as long as you have it out in your hand, you're able to chart the environment around you. It's got a coordinate system so that if you happen to be playing with a few friends online, which the Vita version supports, you're able to run around and chart the world with your friends. So with my crafting table, I press the left bumper and I'm able to open up a more elaborate list of things I can create. And let's see, I want to make uh, a tool with which I can chop down um, some, or I can break some stone, and it looks like I'm gonna need to create sticks. So let's go over to the structures tab here, and we're gonna create a couple sticks. We've got eight now. I'm gonna come back and create my first pickaxe. It's a moment of celebration. I'm gonna open my inventory again with the triangle button. Pull down my pickaxe. Again, these, these operations are super fast. And you know, the analog, it's, it gives you freeform control. We can snap around with the D-pad, absolutely precise inventory management. Uh, the controls are intuitive, they're fast, they're responsive, everything looks great on this five inch screen. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a fan of the Vita. So night is falling. And for anyone who's playing Minecraft, and there's a unique kind of terror when you're playing Minecraft on your Vita, by the way, because you might be snuggled up in bed. As the sun begins to set, that's when your heart rate begins to rise. Uh, the world of Minecraft, as beautiful and cutesy as it is, is also a terrifying one. There's all sorts of monsters that come out when the sun is down and darkness has set. And because of that, building a shelter is extremely vital. Now, I'm going to get a little creative here. I, I don't really have a lot of time to build a house, but we're just going to build a little hovel here. The beauty of playing Minecraft on PlayStation Vita is the dual analog control. You're able to make adjustments, look around, move, um, little micro tweaks that you would probably be hard pressed to do if you're working on a touchscreen uh, works really with ease on the PlayStation Vita. Now, I have closed myself off from the world. We are in absolute pitch darkness, but we're in luck. I managed to pack myself a torch or two. Uh, I'm gonna have to drop my bench down so that I can make some of the more elaborate objects in the game. I'll just drop it right here in this corner. Access the workbench. And we made ourselves a bed. And we're gonna go to sleep. That was Minecraft PS Vita Edition. Hopefully you got a great look at how well it plays with those dual analog controls, how beautiful it looks on that five inch screen. And the best news of all, it's out now for download via PlayStation Store and coming soon to retail. PlayStation.